Hi friends, this is Leela. Welcome to my channel. In the previous video, we have seen about the props. So how to how to send the uh, props to the uh, child component and also the validation of the props also we have seen. Now in this video, what we will try to do is we will try to see about the non props. That means so for example, I have a component. Okay, so that means for example, uh, if you want to pass something like ID. Okay, ID is equal to select box or something like this. If you want to pass this ID, this is not a property. Okay, this is not a prop. Prop prop means when it will become the prop. So if you mention this one in the props in the props array, it will become a prop. Now this one is not a property. You want it attach it to you want it append it to the duo here automatically. So these are called as non-props, okay, which are not props. ID and class you want you want to be applied to the here in the top root node or whatever the element you want you want to apply it okay so how we can do these things so let's see in this video before continuing to this video if you are coming first time to here please do support me by subscribing to my channel so that i'll be posting more and more front end development courses okay coming to this video now here what we can see is so now not only the properties we can also pass the events also to the component to the main component so now what what we can see is, so let's create a new component so i can write select component okay select component dot view now here what i will try to write is i will try to write the template and now here i can have one two and here i can have one select box and here i can write option value is equal to empty select and uh, one or something like this i'll write so i have one select box in this one so i can write script so this could be export default i need to write and uh, optionally you can hide have the data okay if you have any properties so just basic basic component this is the component now what i want to do is i want to import this component here locally so i am writing it as locally previous one is the global one now here i am writing it as locally select component from dot slash component slash select component dot view okay so we need to write like this select component dot u now we need to include this one in the components object so here down we are having this component and we can inject this one in the component now what i will try to do here that the top or somewhere so i can take one div class is equal to i will apply top bottom and all those things some margin and here i will use select hyphen component okay so i am showing one select hyphen component let's see the output here if i try to see the output if I refresh this one, I am able to see the output here. Okay, select box and all those things. Now, if you go to the inspect element here, if you go to the inspect element, this div tag doesn't have anything. Okay, so this div tag doesn't have anything. Now, for this div tag, what I will try to send is here, I will try to apply data hyphen status is equal to something like this. Okay, one and id is equal to select box. So, don't assume that these are properties, these are just non properties. Now what it will happen is automatically what the UJS will do is it will append those things automatically to the main root element. So see here if, if you see here for the div tag it has applied automatically to the div hyphen status is equal to 1 and also id is equal to select box. This has automatically applied it to the main div. Okay. So this is how we can inherit the attributes to the inner, inner component. So not only the properties we are we can also inherit the events also for example see let's assume that uh, we don't have a div here okay so there is only one select element is there now what i can do here i can write at the rate change is equal to select change okay so i have written a method for this component now at the rate change you can copy this sorry i can i can write in the select change and I can get the event here. And let's try to print console.log event.target.value. Okay. Now, what it is happening? So, whenever this component is changed or anything, the data inside it is changed. So, please fire this select change. So, this change event will be automatically data event status ID change event will be automatically appended to the select event here. Okay. So, select event here, it will be automatically app appended. Now, if I want to see, if I want to check the output here, so for example, if I want to check the let, let's check the example. If I try to refresh the code here, now 
let's check the output here so now if i if you select this select element automatically data hyphen status id automatically it has been applied to this one now i will say i will select one here see one has been fired in the app.view so that means whenever we change this select box okay the the component we have already write the change event right so this one has automatically appended to the inherited to that select box so that whenever the select box is changed automatically in the parent it is it, it is firing this method this is nothing but what we can say is attribute inheritance okay so now if we want to disable this attribute inheritance how we can do for example see in the same scenario i have a div tag here okay no i don't want to apply the uh, so for example here if you see if i refresh here if i go inspect element and if you, if you are able to see the day, data even status and id is equal to select box has been applied to the div tag that means root node it is applying but i don't want this uh, two things to be applied to the root node i want this one to be applied to the select box and the same scenario change event also will be appended to this div tag only okay but I, I want to apply this one only to the select tag okay so how we can how i can do this one now to do this one automatically view.js default feature is whatever the components non property attributes it has been appended it will be automatically appended to the root node okay so in order to get the non property attributes for example in order to get the on non property attributes in the code how we can get this one so for example we can get the non property attributes the details using the console.log in the mounted or anywhere so using the uh, variable this dot dollar attrs just like that this dot dollar refs how you are having you will be having one global variable that is this dot dollar attrs so now if i try to check the output here if i refresh this one okay so now here i am able to get that c data if handler c you will be able to get the sorry target you will be able to get the data if status id and also on change is a function so you are able to get the all the details dollar in the dollar attrs variable okay now if i want to disable this attribute inheritance how i can disable so now in order to defaultly i told you that this dollar attrs will be appended to the div tag now if you see here also so just it will be showing you but in the elements if you are able to see the select box it has been applied it to the what i can say to the main due tag okay so now if i select this due tag here is this due tag gone yeah so it is applied it to the due tag only to root node only now what we need to do is we need to add inherit okay attrs to false okay default it will be true so there is no need to mention so if you want if you want don't want to apply this one so we need to give inherit attributes to false so if i check here the output now if you go to the select box here so now the div tag doesn't have doesn't have the data even status and all the things now using this dollar attrs you can apply wherever you want for example here if i go if i want to apply here i can write vi hyphen bind is equal to dollar attrs okay now i can save and i can check the output here okay i can check the output like this so now if i try to select the select box and here i am able to see that select box the uh, events and all those things has been applied to this one okay so for example now you will be having a doubt that when there are multiple root nodes for example here top i have a due tag okay and i don't have uh, if i have a due tag and all those things so then also wherever you want to you want to attach you can attach like this okay so for whatever the things you want to attach you can attach it to the using the pifn attributes now if you see so for this one it has been applied and for the select box also this has been applied so this is how we can we can bind the non property attributes into the child component so these are so these are the main difference between the property attributes and the non property attributes you need to have a difference between these things so for example these things has been if if, if these are data even status and these are automatically mentioned in the props means then it will become a property attribute so these are those things will not be available in the dollar attrs so if if the variables those are not mentioned in the props only then this we then they will be available in the dollar attrs okay so this is about the non property attributes and the attribute inheritance with the child component so if you have any doubts or any suggestions please post the comments below to this video and if you like this video please do support me by subscribing to my channel
Thank you.